everyone this is your math guru in this video i'm going to show you how to find the area of the shaded region as shown in the shapes please don't forget to click on the like and subscribe button below for more easy to understand math concept in the first example i have a circle embedded in a square and to find the area of the shaded region it's the area of the big shape which in this case is the area of the square minus the area of the small shape which is the circle i'm going to draw the two shapes for illustration i have the square and the dimension of the square as shown in the figure is 3.4 centimeters all the sides of the square are equal so the length and the breadth are both 3.4 centimeters and for the circle if you check the circle the edges are touching the sides of the square and so therefore the diameter of the circle is also 3.4 centimeters to find the radius the radius of a circle it calls the diameter divided by 2 or alpha of the diameter and in this case i have 3.4 centimeters divided by 2 therefore the radius is 1.7 centimeters the formula for finding the area of a square is your side times side and the formula for finding the area of a circle is pi r squared therefore the area of the shaded region a equals area of a square which has dimensions 3.4 centimeters that's 3.4 times 3.4 minus pi times the radius as shown 1.7 r squared so that's 1.7 times 1.7 that will give us 11 if you punch that in on your calculator you have 3.4 times 3.4 giving you 11.56 to so two decimal places minus pi r square or pi times 1.7 times 1.7 will give you 9.08 all in centimeter squared because we are finding the area therefore the area of the shaded region a equals 11.56 minus 9.08 which is 2.48 centimeter squared to two decimal places in the second example we have another square with quarters of a circle so the area of the big shape that's the area of the square minus the area of a circle we got a circle this is the square let me draw the dimensions i have the sides 7.8 centimeters all the sides of a square are equal well for the circle we have the circle in quarters we have the first second third and fourth and this form a whole circle to find the radius the diameter or the total distance from one side of the circle to the other is 7.8 centimeter so therefore the radius will be the diameter divided by 2 we know the diameter to be 7.8 so we're going to divide that by 2 and that will give us 3.9 centimeters the formula for finding the area of a square is side times side and the circle is pi r squared so therefore the area of the shaded region a equals the area of the square which is 7.8 times 7.8 minus I have my pi radius squared 3.9 times 3.9 we have 60.84 minus pi times 3.9 times 3.9 we have 47.78 all in centimeter squared please don't forget to always write the unit if given therefore 
the area, if you subtract, will be 13.06 centimeters squared to two decimal places. Let's look at one more example. In the last example, we have a rectangle with two circles embedded. So we have area of the big shape, which would be the area of the rectangle minus the area of two small circles. So I'm going to say two times circle. I'm going to draw out the shapes for illustration. I have the rectangle with side that's 12.6 centimeters. Now to find the height of the rectangle, let me draw one of the circles here. If you check the diagram, we have two circles, diameter to diameter, from here to here, passing through the middle is one diameter, and we have another one, another diameter. The total distance I've been given as 12.6 centimeters, so therefore half of it to find the diameter will be 6, 12.6 divided by 2, that's 6.3 centimeters. We have 6.3 centimeters and therefore to find the radius we know that the radius is half of the diameter so in this case we have radius equals 6.3 divided by 2 and therefore we have a radius to be 3 r equals 3.15 centimeters also if you check the circle is touching the rectangle on both sides and that's the total diameter so the distance or the width of the rectangle will be the diameter of the circle which is 6.3 centimeters so I'm going to put that back in the diagram 6.3 centimeters the formula for finding the area of a rectangle is your length times width we still have a pi r squared for our area so therefore, to find the area of the shaded region, that's the area of the rectangle, we have 12.6, the length, times the width, 6.3 centimeters, minus, we have two circles, so we have 2 times pi r squared, which is pi, the radius has been given as 3.15 centimeter, we have that 3.15 times 3.15. From the diagram, we have the first circle and we have the second circle. So therefore, punching that in on a calculator, we're going to have 79.38 all to two decimal places minus 62.34 centimeter squared. Our SI unit is always important. Therefore, our A or the area of the shaded region as shown would be 17.04 centimeters squared. Thanks for watching. Bye.